Okay, let's talk about variables. And this is going to be a basic quick introduction to the concept of variables. And uh, this is really appropriate for those of you that are studying any sort of algebra course to include pre-algebra. So I'm going to be um, giving you some basic definition about, uh, about variables. Of course, we want to know what a variable is. And I have some examples here. And then we're going to understand some terminology and algebra rules that you need to follow when you're working with variables in a course. If you're uh, in a, any sort of algebra course, you're going to be working with variables nonstop. So this is really, really critical stuff uh, in order for you to fully understand algebra. But it's not that difficult. We're going to get into all of this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. I've been teaching math for decades, and there's one belief that I have, that I've come to have over all those years, and that is that any student can be successful in mathematics, but it requires two things. One, it requires you uh, being uh, willing to do the work. Okay, If you're not willing to study or listen or pay attention, you're never going to be successful in anything let alone mathematics. But if you're willing to do the work, what you need to be successful in mathematics is clear and understandable instruction. Okay, You need to be taught in a way that you like and understand, and you have to see a lot of problems solved. So uh, that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, definitely check out my math help program uh, if you are struggling in mathematics or if you want to get ahead. Okay, either way, I can help you out. Now, if you happen to be uh, preparing for any sort of test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, uh, college placement, college entrance uh, uh, exam, or teacher certification exam, ASVAB. You get the idea. There's a ton of tests out there. I can help you prepare and pass uh, those exams. If you homeschool, my middle and high school math courses were just voted number one for homeschooling by a major homeschool publisher. Very excited about that. And if you need some math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get into it. Variables, um, again, real basic uh, algebra concepts. So let's start with this first question. What is a variable? Well, most of you would say, well, it's like letters like this in algebra, X, Y, Z. And uh, yeah, these are variables, but what is a variable? Well, a variable is basically a symbol, okay, that represents a number, okay? So X is just a placeholder for a number. That's just a symbol, okay? Now we use lowercase um, letters. That's pretty convenient. So in algebra, you know, uh, you're probably going to, the most time, for the most part, you're going to see lowercase letters like X, Y, Z, a, B, C, that type of thing. But there's no hard and fast rule that says that, you know, variables always have to be letters. They do not. They could be other symbols as well. But a variable is a symbol that represents a number. So again, X would be some number. Y is another number. Z is another number. But uh, you were actually working with variable variables way back in the first and second grade. So you remember these little questions like there would be like a box plus one is equal to seven. And you, uh, you would be sitting there, you'd be like, hmm, you know, you, uh, you're, you're six or seven years old and you're trying to think through, what do I need to put in this box? What number does this symbol represent to make this true? And then you would say, oh, it's six. You would be correct. Matter of fact, this is algebra. You were solving equations, but this little box is a symbol that represents a number. In fact, it is a variable. Okay, so again, don't be, um, you know, thinking that, all variables must be lowercase letters, but in general, uh, they are, okay? But you can see all sorts of different types of variables as you study more and more mathematics. Okay, so that is what a variable is. It's nothing more than a, um, uh, a symbol that represents a number. But now let's go ahead and talk about some of the variable expressions that um, you're going to encounter in algebra. And let's just talk about... Uh, things that don't get you confused. So the first thing is I'm going to I'm going to go through all these and then I'm going to talk about what a term is. But let's first talk about this one right here. So we have x plus y. So this is an expression. Okay. So uh, in algebra, things called expressions are just like you know, hey, how do you express yourself? Maybe through a sentence, right? You would write a sentence down or a poem or a paragraph. Doesn't make a difference. So in mathematics, if you want, or if we're trying to express things. Okay, we could just write an expression down. Now, this is different than uh, uh, an equation. If I want to say uh, something's an equation, I would put this little equal sign 
right? That means this is an, this right here I would call an equation, but these here are just expressions. We're just expressing something mathematically. So let's uh, talk about how we use variables to express uh, things. And these are only examples. There's a ton of different things that we can do with variables, but let's take a look at this first one here. So x plus y. So what do you think this uh, represents, or what are we talking about here? Well, this is just nothing more than a number plus another number, okay? So a number plus another number, that's all this is. Uh, some, what, now, what numbers? Well, any numbers that we want them to be or whatever number um, we assign uh, values to for x and y. Now, if this was a number plus itself or a number plus uh, the same number, then I would probably want to write that as x plus x, okay? So x plus y, you can interpret that as a number plus another number. Okay, so let's talk about this expression right here, 3a. Now, of course, a is what? Well, it's a variable. It represents a number. Now, this 3 in front of this variable, in algebra, when you have a number in front of, of a variable, like an x or a y, in this case an a, this means multiplication. So this means 3 times a. Now, why don't we write it that way? I mean, if this means 3 times a, why don't we write it like 3 times a instead of 3a, or maybe 3 times a? Well, this would be quite confusing if we wanted to write, like, let's say, 3x, uh, 3 times x. We would go 3 times x, like 3xx. This would get people uh, very, very confused. So we don't use that um, notation or uh to uh, write things that way. So 3a, this means 3 being multiplied by some variable a, or 3 times some number. Okay, so that's what that represents. So again, this number um, uh, in front of a variable uh, right here just means we're multiplying that number by this variable. Now, let's talk about something called a term. This would be, uh, we could refer to this as a term, this whole thing. And this would be the variable component, and the number in front of that term is a, a word called a coefficient. So that's this number is referred to as the coefficient. This is the variable, okay? And this whole thing makes up a term. All right. So, so far so good. We're learning a lot of terminology and some basic rules of um, algebra when it comes to variables. So let's take a look at this uh, next expression, c cubed. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means some number uh, being cubed. So we can write this out a long way. That would be C times C times C. You could write it like this, C, 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 like, like so. But it's okay to use these little um, uh, multiplier, these little, this little dot uh, multiplication operator like this as well. well. As long as you don't have any confusion, you know, C, 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 or C times C times C means C cubed. Okay, or some number cubed. All right, how about this expression? What does this mean? A, B, well, this is A times B, okay? Or some number times another number. One number times another number. It's not the same number multiplied by itself because that would be A times A. Of course, we wouldn't write that uh, that way. It would be A, A, which would be what? A squared, okay? So uh, A, B, uh, we're talking about a number times another number. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, next expression. So here I have 4x plus 2x. So I have a term. Okay, this is a whole term, right, where we talked about what a term is. So this is a term, and I'm adding it to another term. Okay, well, I like to add it. At least that's the expression. So uh, in algebra, there's something about terms that we uh, want to understand is that sometimes we have these things called like terms terms, like terms, what does that mean? Well, uh, two terms are like if they have the exact uh, same variable part, okay? It has to be exactly the same. And I'm going to show you an example of something that looks like a like term, but that uh, isn't. So these ter uh, terms are like, okay? So here I have 4x and I have 2x. This is the same thing as having like 1, 2, 3, 4x is right here. And while I want to add it to something that has two X's. So how many X's total do I have? I have six X's, okay? So when you have two like terms, what you can do is simply add the coefficients, right? So four plus two is gonna be six, or this would be equal to six X, okay? Again, we can combine, um, add or subtract 
like terms. Okay, so when you're looking at terms, you want to uh, look to see if they are like. So let's go ahead and wrap it up this last uh, little expression. So here I have 4x squared plus 2x, basically um, very similar to this last expression. So can we add these up? Okay, the question is, are these terms like or not? Uh, these are not like, okay? These are not like, why? Because these variable parts are not exactly the same. Now, they could be, you know, right here, they're close, but they're not exactly the same. This is x squared, and this is x, or really x to the first. It, it either has to be x squared and x squared, or x to the first, x to, uh, to the first. Again, the variable parts have to be exactly the same, not close, okay? Perfectly um the same and then you can have like terms and you can add or subtract like terms okay so if you understand all this about uh, variables you understand what a variable is and uh, you know some of these basic rules that I covered then you're well on your way to being an expert in algebra so let's go ahead and fix up this little uh, happy or that would look like a little bit of a confused um, face but let's give you a nice little happy face an A plus and a 100 percent for having such good focus okay if you're with me all the way through this problem uh, or through this lesson, that means that, hey, you are focusing. Remember when I told you what it takes to be successful in math? you got to be willing to do your part, which is to pay attention to your teacher, focus in, take notes, do the work, right? Do all that stuff. That stuff is required of you. But then hopefully, you know, instruction like mine, uh, what I'm teaching you here, if you like it, if you find it clear and understandable, well, that's why I make these videos. And uh, if this video did help you out, consider helping me out by smashing that like button and maybe even uh, subscribing to my channel. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math to advanced math, like calculus and everything in between. So if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of all my content. I make it for you, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.